If a multinational company developed a product that was a nutritionally balanced and delicious food or wonder drug that both prevented and treated diseases, cost almost nothing to produce, and could be delivered in quantities controlled by the consumer's needs, the very announcement of their find would send their shares rocketing to the top of the stock market. The scientists who developed the product would win prizes, and the wealth and influence of everyone involved would increase dramatically. Women have been producing such a substance, breast milk, since the beginning of human existence. Okay. Uh, La Leche League is an organization that was founded 55 years ago uh, in the States, in, in Chicago, um, by a group of seven women who met at a church picnic. Um, at that time in the United States, breastfeeding rates were near to less than 10%. Um, there were a few women that were breastfeeding, and they decided they wanted to get together and form meetings in their house. Uh, so they thought they would have a meeting similar to the ones we have today, and they thought maybe half a dozen women would come, and over a hundred women showed up to this first meeting. Uh, it quickly grew into groups throughout Chicago, and then as the mothers moved away from Chicago, moved into other states, those women also moved to other countries. So. By, I'd say the 1960s. I think in Ireland it was 1967 that La Leche first came to Ireland and a group was started. Uh, we run a series of four meetings similar to the ones that the, the women that founded the group founded La Leche League. Um, they are four groups, four meetings. The first one is the advantages of breastfeeding. The second one is about the family and, and the breastfed baby. Uh, the third meeting we talk about the difficulties or avoiding difficulties that you might have while breastfeeding and the fourth meeting is nutrition and weaning. Um, the way we lead meetings today is very much like they've been led since they started. Uh, mothers come to the house, we have discussion groups, uh, refreshments. Some people say that's one of the best things about La Leche League meetings is the good food and the good chat. And I think that's what makes us different and sets us apart from other breastfeeding groups is that we're more than just a breastfeeding group. Uh, we support each other. Uh, because Who is the woman that spoke at our conference and what she was saying about in different cultures? How like exposing a breast and like feeding your baby in public is no big deal, yet you wouldn't like expose an ankle or an elbow or you know, there's different yeah, like different yeah, cultures yeah, different have culture. different uh, parts of the body that yeah, are sexualized. Yeah, sexualized. And so to them breast it's no big deal. Yeah. And they think it's weird that we that, think it's that we that Western culture has put the breasts, which is the baby food, as the sexual object. Object. Although breastfeeding rates in the UK and Ireland are far below international recommendations, with the help of groups like the Lech League, the numbers are slowly on the rise. Like proud parents, Karen McMenamin and Jay Dard, we asked them, "What's it like to breastfeed in today's world?" We decided to breastfeed just, well, my mommy had um, breastfed me and my two sisters and brother and we thought that was just the most natural thing I was used to anyway and um, I just wanted to give the best for my baby. As a new parent, I would say it's absolutely vital to give your child the best possible chance in life, um, nutrition-wise and bonding-wise with the mother. Um, Anything else doesn't really make sense. It's natural and it's free. free. And it's, it's you know what's good. You know the advantages. You, you kind of wonder why more people don't do it really. Like and um, you know if it's good for the baby and it's good for you and it is a lot handier. Like it might be tricky to begin with if you don't get the right support. But it's like you know if you get the right support and you know you're on board with something so good. Like why not? Why not do it? I would definitely feel it's made me feel more included as part of the family unit. It's uh, it's something that definitely unites us two. It's something we're, we're totally supportive of, and uh, it brings a good good warmth in the household. It brings a good feeling of <laughs> doing the right thing, and uh, it unites us. Like it's great for her. We know this here, but uh, as a family, it makes us makes us proud of what we do.